Hello, hi there, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is for all of you aspiring writers or designers who want to create your own custom notebook for Amazon KDB or an ebook, children's book, activity book, or you know, you say what. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple notebook, lined notebook. Uh, in Affinity Publisher, uh, we are going to make 120 pages on book. It's going to be a standard size, 8.5 times 11 inches, uh, which is a standard US letter size. Before we begin, uh, you need to have Affinity Publisher if you do not have it already. So. There is a drawback, it's not free, uh, but it's a one-time payment and then you have it for life. There is no subscription like uh, Adobe has. So, um, and if you get the whole pack, Affinity uh, Designer, Photo and Publisher, um, it's actually cheaper and you don't have to pay subscription. Uh, if they upgrade something, you don't have to pay any extra. Now, uh, I have a version one, all three of them. Uh, I haven't upgraded to the version two uh, because the old version works perfectly fine for what I used it for. Um, so if you already have the older version, it's perfectly fine. If you have the new version, um, it works the same. There, the new version just has a few more perks to it, but what we're going to be using it for, um, it's okay. So what are we doing actually? Uh, we are going to be making a notebook, which basically looks similar to these ones that are here. Oops. Not that one. Um, the cover we're gonna do in a different video and I'm gonna be using Affinity Designer for that. Today I'm just gonna show you how to do the inside, the interior of the book so you can upload it to KDP. Um, well, technically how I do it, but uh, I mean the process is basically the same. Um, it's no magic, so simply lined line pages and that that's about it the only thing that you need to be aware of is the uh, the margins that we need to uh, taking in the consideration and then the size of the book so we are making uh, 8.5 times 11 inches and I am going to be using a bleed. Why? Because it's better. No, it's just um, every book I publish, I go with the bleed. Um, it gives me less chances of my book being uh, rejected by the, uh, the machine that checks it when you try to upload it. Um, and if you have any graphics or elements that are going outside of the of the page um, it's good to have the bleed so we're gonna be using this the sizes with the bleed so the standard bleed is actually the same for all which is 0 0.125 inches on each side um, and the only thing we are going to be looking at is the margin uh, and the page code. So our pages are going to be below 150, which means the inside margins are going to be 0 0.375. Outside margins, since we're doing the bleed, are going to be the same, 0 0.375. And it comes to top and bottom, I usually go with one inch. 
Uh, so let's go to Affinity Publisher. It's gonna look like this when you open it. You just go to File and New and we go to Press Ready and then you find this letter which is already 8.5 by 11 inches and in this we're gonna do 300 dpi inches the orientation is upright number of pages 120 a default master yes facing pages cmyk yes uh transparent background now it, it depends if you like it that background is transparent then click it if not then view it uh, the important part margin the inner margin they said it was zero point where are we? zero point three seven five and the outer margin as well was zero point three seven five the bottom I'm gonna go with one as well the bleed is the same okay click create Ta -da. so here we have our pages now what we're gonna what i usually do is the first page is the cover so over here i usually put uh this books this book belongs to and some lines um, sometimes I do a drawing or a pattern and then on this on the second page I usually put a uh, copyrighted text let me just go with the text frame uh, text uh, insert filler text so here is like a copyrighted copyright put it here and then here is the this book belongs to book belongs to this is a bit let's make this smaller if you grab this part and drag it's gonna make the letters bigger as well just so much easier than in InDesign and if you have this uh, magnet on, it's gonna align your elements. See, there's a green line, so it's aligned to the center. Now, if I double click on this one, it's gonna perfectly um, wrap the text with the box. So, let's go like this. And then the other pages are going to be filled with uh, lines. Now how do I do this? If you go each page separately, you're going to go crazy. So we're going to go over here. If you don't see this panel outside over here, you go to view, no, window, or is it view? It's view, studio. Uh, where are you? pages and you click this and then in pages here you have separate pages and then up you have master pages click on the master and then click on the master a double click and you get the master a now you can create more masters duplicate selected master add a master but we're gonna work only on this one so over here we are going to be adding some lines you could do it with a through a table uh how many lines does usually a notebook have let me just check uh, do i have a line one already i forgot check Mm, 
Well, okay, so I'm gonna go with 2530 to start it. Let me just grab this one. Oops. Drag it out so it's kind of like equal, equally spaced. Uh, I am going to move it from the center and I'm also going to make this a one. So, uh, on this side, now you have the option you can, where are you? You can move it to the margin so the lines are basically inside or just go to move tool so I can move it easily go back to the bleed I usually go to the bleed area uh, let me see something like that yes and also I'm gonna remove the line that goes here so table 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 Mm. Just going to select everything. Everything. So, how do I do this again? Let me just select everything. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. How did I do that? Table. If you don't see it, do you studio table? Here it is, and you click it, and it's gonna appear. So I already have it outside here, and I am a half frame. I do not want a frame, okay, but I also do not want a stroke, so I'm removing that one. Let's see. Not really. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, nope. Why? Inside or outside? No, I don't want outside. Okay. something seriously yeah I do like the top one I don't want this one okay ah okay yeah <laughs> now it's working uh, the line turn off the line okay so we got that one working now remember we're do whatever we do on the master page it's gonna start appearing on the other pages um, so this is one I'm just gonna control C control V and put it on this side and align it like so so it's the same Oh, I need to, I'm just going to flip it around, uh, flip horizontally, so we don't have that line on the inner side. Now, if I want to check without the bleed and the margins, I just click up here and now I can see how it's going to be printed out. So it looks like that, which looks pretty okay. Now, I'm also going to add a line over here. I'm going to go to the pen tool and line mode. Let me check. I'm guessing one should be enough. If I press shift, it makes a straight line click. line over here so go back to the move tool 
think I need to make this one stroke a little bigger. It's 0.2 right now. Let's make it 3. 4. 4. Okay. Now, uh, if you hold Alt, click and drag, um, you can copy it. If you release Alt, uh, you're gonna start seeing guidelines. So you know exactly how to or uh, where to put it down. So like so. Is this like one? A little bit more. Like approximately the same, I guess. Let me check. If I click here and drag. Uh, do I put it here? I put it here. Okay. Minus one. Yes, yes. Okay. And if I go back here, this one should be on one. Yes. Okay. So, um, this is how you do an interior with just lines master page this is going to be repeated on all the pages over here and we're basically done this is it uh, the only thing I also add is at the end I have an assets do I have them here I'm not sure I think I do uh, mine yes I do have this um, copyrights uh, that is basically my website and I put it at the bottom of the middle page come on where are you like so and then copy on the other side also I'm gonna go back to layers and change the opacity on that one so it's not so visible but it is still visible like that and this is basically a master page so if I click on regular pages right now we have the first page which we need to remove the master from so you click on the page uh, right click then you have clear master it's gonna remove and then again on this one right click Clear master, and that is okay. And then I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Or you could put other books that you have on the back page and um, a call to action, if you may. Um, I don't. So just lined. Um. Over here, we're gonna do a copyright. Do I have it already done? If you don't know how to do it, which most people who are not in this business do not know how to do it, me including, just go online and search for it. So, copyright disclaimer statement for books. And then you just copy it into your book uh, over here you can see how the copyright would look for a page that for a book that's actually has words in it but you can just uh, copy some of it not all of it to see uh, let's start so the first one yes and then all rights reserved da -da -da -da. this you don't need you also don't need we also don't need that front cover if you have a specific artist that's doing your covers yes you can do this and book design bar you put your name here uh, you don't need this you don't need this and that mm, also you don't need uh, unless you have your own website you put your website in there um, 
Okay, where is it? Oh. Download a template. Let's save that one. And open it. I'm gonna close that one down. Is it going to open or not? Or maybe not. Okay, let's do that again. Open. Yes, please. Okay, the only thing we need is basically this. You copy that and you put it in here. Now we just need to make it a little bit prettier. Uh, change the year, which is 2023 years right now. I always put my website here, so missing in art.com. All rights reserved to ship transmission, including photo. Yes. Uh, I do not need that. I think. No. Okay, I can delete that one out because I do need it. For permission request, write to the publisher. Attention permission coordinator, not really. Um, publishing rights. License. Notebooks. isn't that great okay so um, at the address below at support oops Neto. support oh I forgot the alpha does not work here so when I press control alt and V that thing doesn't appear for the that C thing is. So go to character, no glyphs, and click it. If you don't have glyphs, again, view studio, search for glyphs, glyph browser, so you can access those. Uh, then missing. Like this, okay. And then I'm gonna put another text box over here. I'm gonna write a thank you. Thank you for purchasing my line book. Um, it colors and twenty. Well, technically, it's not 120 pages. Uh, 120 pages of page 118. Or find and ready to be used. I hope. This notebook, oops, notebook, fine. Uh, I think this notebook is useful. I know your ideas. Preparation. Oh, 
that's just an example. You can, you know, write whatever you would like to. Okay, so that's that. I'm also going to put my logo over there. If I can find it. Right, I don't have the new one here. Eh, this one is okay as well. It's gonna be black and white either way. Ooh, it's gonna be black and white either way. So, this one. Like this. Then we have the copyright. Okay, I am gonna change the text, uh, the font to something more, I don't know, maybe this, but bigger. Let's make this bigger. 18, yeah, sure. Okay, now this one needs to be readable, so. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, which one was it there? Book, book, old book, something. This? Maybe, I don't know. Ah, book, antique, book, bookman, old style. I like that one. This one is also kind of cute. I like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here. And then also, please don't forget to um, give us a quick review. Leave a quick. I'm gonna change the text to this to something that is a bit more readable because it's a little bit more uh, important. Middle, okay, and this is where QR codes come in handy. I do have a QR code for Amazon review page. Uh, I forgot how I got it. I found it somewhere on YouTube. Some other YouTuber uh, that makes KDB books said, you know, this is useful to have. But anyway, uh, you can put whatever QR code or website link or whatever you want over here. And this is basically it. Oh, I'm going to also change this to adorable mother. Bring it to the beginning and I need some lines over here. So control shift. Now we have the line and make the stroke a bit thicker. Could make it dotted. Let's see. Why? Two. Whoops. Not that one. Two. Okay. No. I kind of like this one. Okay. So, this is one line. Another one. And people can, uh, write their name over there. This is basically it. The book is finished. Uh, the notebook is finished. All you have to do now is go to file, export. <clears throat> Here comes the important part. Pay attention. So PDF, digital, no, press ready. 
but we're gonna be changing this anyway, so that really doesn't matter. 300, include bleed, yes. All spreads, no. All pages, yes. Go to more, go down, all fonts, no. Change, text as curves, click, close. That's the most important part. Uh, and then go to export. Um, find a, where is it? Oh, here they are. Interior. Some of my uh, interiors are colorful. This one is just simple. So, aligned uh, notebook interior. I always write the sizes so I know which size it is and how many pages it has. So this one says 100 and whoops, 20 pages and save. And this is it basically. Now we wait for that one to save it and when it's done it's going to uh, show us in a PDF reader. So now we check the PDF reader. Um, we have the first page, have the second page, make sure you don't have any spelling mistakes. Uh, and then our the other pages, which look like this. That's gonna be trimmed off anyway, so that's okay. Mm. And but yeah, this is basically it. This is the interior. I mean, when it comes to interior of a composition notebook, uh, which is a line notebook, there's basically nothing much to it. You just put lines in it, uh, who this book belongs to, and um, the copyright disclaimer. That's about it. Uh, where you need to be more creative uh, is actually with the cover itself and we are gonna be doing the cover next time so that's it for today for this video I hope I made any sense and helped someone some someone learn something new today this is how you make Lined composition notebooks for Amazon per KDP with Affinity Publisher. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help a lot. Uh, if, if you want to see more videos from me, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I try to make a video every Friday. Um, and that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Friday.